What's up YouTube, it's Server13. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to run a TeamSpeak server. This can use your client and your server uh, using Hamachi. And the reason I use Hamachi is that you don't have to port forward. It's completely free. This is perfect if you just have a small group of friends that you all wanna use TeamSpeak with. Like if you don't wanna use Uvu or Skype, ones that use you know video calling. If you don't wanna use that and you wanna use TeamSpeak or Ventrilo, uh, you know, free things that you can grab and download uh, programs. And you can use that with Hamachi for completely 100% free. Okay, and I know I've used Hamachi before for Minecraft servers, and sometimes you guys don't like that, but I love Hamachi because of the fact that it's free. You get five people that you can join with it, and that you uh, and there's no port forwarding that you have to use at all with it because it, it does it all through the browser and all that kind of stuff. So you do need to have Hamachi downloaded. If you don't have that downloaded already, I have links in the description. Uh, just download that. And then uh, first thing besides that you need to get is the TeamSpeak 3 client and the TeamSpeak 3 server, which is right here. Um, when you download both of these, I'll have these in the description as well. Uh, you'll get programs that look just like this. You'll have a zip folder. You won't have, you'll have the client and the zip folder. You won't have this folder. Um, and then after the zip folder, you just click extract here. If you have WinRAR, you guys probably all know what that is. Uh, and you'll get this folder. And then I'm going to bring this up here. And then when you double click on this, you're going to have these files in here, except for probably the files one and the logs one. You'll probably have some of these other ones. Um, really, the only thing you need to worry about is this one in the TS3 server. Uh, you want to download the 64-bit or 32-bit if you have Windows, and then you can download the Mac one or the Linux one as well if you have those computers. All right, so I'm probably going to go through this pretty quickly. Sorry if I go too fast. Um, you guys can ask questions down below if you want to. So um, you need to start running the server. So double-click on the server to start running it. You might have a little box that pops up, and when that does pop up, it, just keep it open for a second so you guys can see the password and everything. Um, I would copy the password just so you have it and paste it onto a Word document or something like that so you can keep that saved. Uh, that's for your uh, admin rights on the server. Um, and down here, as you guys can see, it says TeamSpeak 3 server. So the server is running down here. Uh, there's not much you can do down here with it. Uh, it's just that it's running. So you, you do have to make sure you're running that. And then you need to go and open up Hamachi, which is right here for me. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to click on. You got to power it on. And if you guys have used Hamachi before, you know how to use it. Um, if you haven't, all you have to do is go and make your account really quick. With, through It's actually through this little box right here it's, it's not really an account it's just a name for your computer uh, you make that and then once it starts probing it will turn on and it right there synchronization there we go so I have one server called the gameplay geeks this is my other channel for the gameplay uh, videos that I do you guys can go check that out but um, otherwise you won't have anything here you'll just have to go up to network and then click on create a new network and I'm gonna call this uh, YouTube test and you have to like name it something that nobody else has named before and you just put a password I'll make it YouTube and hit create and then you'll have this thing right down here now this is what you and your friends need to connect to uh, in order to talk to each other so if you have a friend who wants to get on your TeamSpeak server they need to log in through Hamachi as well then log in through the YouTube test whatever you guys want to call your network like my friend Shane here he's connected through this so if we ever talk through TeamSpeak all he has to do is turn on his Hamachi and then his TeamSpeak uh, client and he can connect to the server right through there um, but whoever's hosting the server does need to have this running so that other people can connect to it you just need to give your friends your IP address right up here the five point whatever you guys will have a different one than that um, and then the password to your uh, Hamachi network and that's that's pretty much it they'll connect to it through that um, and then you can minimize this you don't need that but you, you do need to have it open but you don't need it uh, you know open on the windows so then you can open up your TeamSpeak 3 client you want to double click on that and then this will pop up. But this is your TeamSpeak 3 client. Okay, once you first get the TeamSpeak 3 client, this is what it's going to look like. And you just have to go up into connections and then go through the settings through that. Um, and then you need to go into connections and click connect. And now this is literally all you have to do. You have to grab someone, you have to grab your uh, the host server's uh, IP address, which is right up here for mine, 5.9.175.145. That'll be a completely different number for you guys. But you need to take that number, just click on copy IPv4, not IPv6, just the IPv4. Copy that and then come into the where this says server address and paste it. That's your nickname, so you can nickname it whatever you want, and then just hit connect. And then it'll say connected and that kind of a voice, and you guys can change it. You can go to the systems uh, settings and stuff. Like if you go into the settings in the setup wizard, you guys can go through changing your nickname, your microphone settings, and all that fun stuff. Um, but this will let you talk to your friends up to five people um, through Hamachi. 
And this is 100% free. You don't have to pay for Hamachi unless you want to, if you want to like get your, if you have a whole clan of people, like 30 people, and you want them all to like get together in this, you might as well just buy a TeamSpeak server. Um, but this is the easiest way to get a free working uh, server. Me and Shane and my other friends use this uh, for our games. When we want to chat together, we use this. Um, we don't use Uvu or Skype or anything like that because the video calling takes up bandwidth. Um, and you can always, you know, cancel the, uh, the video call and all that kind of stuff, but uh, Skype and Uvu and all that crap just takes up your uh, CPU. It's not worth it. So, um, as you guys can probably tell down here, if I click on Task Manager, uh, you can see right there my CPU usage is about eight. Normally, that's down by like two, like about two between one and two percent when I'm just running the TeamSpeak server um, because the TeamSpeak doesn't run at all. Like CPU is is very minimal when it comes to TeamSpeak. The only reason it's up that high is because I'm, I'm running the uh, expression encoder. This is what I use to capture the screen. As you guys can see, uh, that's what I'm using. So uh, this is a very, very easy way to get a TeamSpeak server running. This will 100% also work for uh, Ventrilo. If you guys like Ventrilo over TeamSpeak, you can just do the exact same thing. Uh, it's just a little bit different setting up the settings with Ventrilo, but you literally just have to take the IP address from Hamachi and put it right into Ventrilo's uh, options, and you'll be able to connect to it that way. You do have to have Hamachi running, like I said, and your friends do have to connect to Hamachi through this as well. As you guys can see, my friend Shane right there is connected through the Gameplay Geeks network. Um, you guys can have like multiple networks going through here, um, but you do have to have your friends connected to that first, and then they have to connect to your TeamSpeak server uh, as well. So that is the easiest and simplest way that I could possibly think of to get a TeamSpeak 3 server uh, working without having to pay for it. Because TeamSpeak 3, you can download the client for free. Uh, you can get this for free. You just have to have somebody host the server, and that's what exactly what Hamachi does uh, for the time being. They host servers, and they host up to five people uh, per network. So that's the easiest and greatest way, in my opinion, to get a free TeamSpeak server running. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, please hit that like button down below. If you do, if you have any questions at all, please post comments down below. I love answering questions, so uh, I want to see that. I did want to say one more thing about the video that I posted right before this. Um, I know I posted that video before, but I had to go back and edit out some personal information. I had like my checkbook sitting out on my desk and stuff like that. I didn't want people seeing that, so I had to go back and edit that and then re-upload it. So I'm sorry if you guys think I'm trying to get more views and all that crap. I'm not trying to do that. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to protect my personal information. Um, so that's that. So please forgive me for that. Don't, you know, get all mad at me on my other videos for that. Um, that's the reason I just had to go and edit out some of my personal information. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.